Hey, I, you know, when we when we all assembled early this morning, uh, just a little bit after the weather briefing, uh, I overheard somebody talking on the phone to, to one of their, probably uh, a friend or something like that was surprised to find out that they were at work today. And he proceeded to remind them uh, that this was the biggest test that they've done here in 50 years. Um, this is why we test and it's important. The, uh, I wanted to say how much appreciation I have for the Stennis team, for the Marshall Space Flight Center team, and for everybody across the agency. That includes our prime contractors that have helped get us this far in the SLS program and primarily the Green Run today. Uh, I think you guys know that, that we had a, a couple of wet dress rehearsals leading up to today. Uh, we learned some things in those wet dress rehearsals uh, that we were able to address today. Uh, specifically, we had a, a, an engine bleed, engine conditioning uh, challenge that we worked on uh, engine four uh, today. The team worked uh, through a process to change the way that we conditioned the engines and allowed us to overcome uh, the challenge that we saw in wet dress rehearsal number two. Uh, interestingly, the, uh, you know, we hadn't pressurized uh, these tanks on the core stage uh, in the previous wet dress rehearsals because we didn't, didn't get that far along in the count. Uh, the plan was to, to do a pressurization test in in parallel with the change we made for the engine conditioning. And so that let us do two things, make sure that we could condition the engine appropriately and then uh, also learn what we could learn about the pressurization system. Uh, what we learned was is that we didn't have uh, the pressurization valves modeled appropriately the team worked really hard during the last part of the, of the countdown today, and we were able to adjust those parameters and it manifested itself uh, when we pre-pressed pre the LOX tank and the hydrogen tank, and then subsequently uh, started the RS-25 engines. Now I know most of you are, are curious to know uh, why we terminated at 60 seconds. Uh, the team. When I left the team a little while ago, they were still beginning to pour through the data and that we will continue to do that uh, over the next several days and we'll keep you guys up to speed on, on what we learn. Uh, I can tell you what, you know, I know you got some of you were listening to the test control center during the test. The, uh, you could hear the, the comm where we talked, the, there was some conversation around uh, a FID on engine four, which is our terminology for a failure identification, uh, shortly followed by uh, 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 um, MC, MCF, which is a major component failure. Um, I don't know much more about that than you do at this point in time. Um, any parameter that, that went uh, awry on the engine could, could send that, that failure ID. But at the time that they made the call, we did still have uh, four good engines up and running at 109%. Uh, when, we, when, we got to, when we got to main stage after we started the engines, part of the plan was to throttle back to 95% uh, and then throttle back up to 109. It, and at the same time, uh, we're running a gimbal profile for all four engines. And so uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of dynamics going on at the point in time. We did see a little bit of a flash come from around the interface between the thermal protection blanket on engine four uh, at the time where we had initiated the gimbal thereabouts. Uh, at that point in time, the best of my knowledge now, the, the engine controller sent a command, sent, sent the data to the, to the core stage controller to, 
shut the vehicle down. So in my opinion, you know, we accomplished, the team accomplished a lot today. We learned a lot about the vehicle. We got the vehicle loaded. Uh, we got our pressurization system rung out. Uh, we got the engines conditioned uh, and got roughly 60, 60 minutes of time on the, on the RS-25s. Can I, can I just, I want to make sure because reporters are out here uh, reporting um, the thermal conditioning from the hydrogen bleed, uh, the challenge that we had there before the fire began, before the, I said, before the, the engines fired, I don't want to say, but before the engines fired, that thermal conditioning challenge was on engine three. I just want to be clear on that. Right. It was not engine four. Right. So. I said four and I'm, okay. I misspoke. It okay. was three. You're yeah. right. Okay. Good, good.